Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to the episode number 51 of the series of tutorial on how to build a premium theme for WordPress. Welcome again. In this tutorial, we're going to continue our styling work on the sidebar. If we open the sidebar, and if you remember what I asked you to do in the last uh, episode, you will notice that here I styled the remaining two widgets that we're currently using. So I styled the categories list and the recent comments list. If you don't want to spend time in styling all these widgets or if you don't know how to do it, no worries, you can always grab the source code in the GitHub repository. You can find the link to the GitHub repo in the description below this video. But let's keep going. Right now what we have to do, we have to style a little bit the body of our WordPress theme and also the sidebar because now we are at a point that the widgets of the sidebar are occupying more space than the actual height of the window. So we should be able to scroll down here and reveal what's below this last widget. But if we try to scroll, the entire body scrolls and not this area. So what we have to do, we have to Every time we open the sidebar, block the scrollability of the body, maybe create an overlay to darken the area and uh, give more importance to the sidebar and activate the scrollability of the sidebar if the height of the content is higher than the height of the viewport of your browser window. So let's do that. First, let's access our code editor and in the header.php where we have the code of the sidebar and everything that it's inside our sunset sidebar, we can create a code just right after the sunset sidebar and before the container fluidity, we can input a really simple div with a class called sidebar hyphen overlay. And we're gonna close this div directly. We don't have to wrap anything inside this div and we're gonna use these to create this uh, sort of overlay darken effect on the body. So let's access our sunset.scss and at the beginning of the sidebar section, let's create this, uh, this class sidebar hyphen overlay and the sidebar overlay is gonna have a top zero left zero, right zero, bottom zero, and a background color of RGBA because I want a background color of black, but we, I would say 30% of opacity, so 0 0.3. And then let's say position fixed and Z index, let's say three. Save it, let's go back in the front end, let's refresh. And now we have this dark overlay that it's on top of everything and we cannot click everything. So we cannot interact with uh, the body. And that's why I created this position fixed overall container. The sidebar is still on top because we have a higher Z index to the sidebar. So the sidebar is still interactable and clickable. You can click all the links, so no problems, but the body is basically hidden underneath this uh, container that it's necessary to block the interaction with the body itself. So it's great. The only thing that we have to do right now, it's simply applying a display none because by default this is going to be not visible and just is going to be activated only if we open the sidebar. The other thing I want to do now, I want to edit the header and put back this sidebar close to the sidebar container. So let's put back the class that is going to force the sidebar to be closed by default and then we're going to open it. So now when we open it, we have to make the uh, sunset overlay, the sidebar overlay layer that we just created visible. And we can do that super easily with JavaScript. We already have pretty much the trigger. So let's access our sunset.js. 
Let's scroll down to the bottom where we have the our sidebar functions and here we already have the JS toggle sidebar that is toggling the classes to the sidebar container, the sunset sidebar. The same thing that we have to do is toggling the visibility of our sidebar overlay. So we can do that by simply using dollar sign sidebar overlay and let's simply write toggle and here we can specify um, 320 milliseconds of speed so if we refresh now and we click now we have this effect as you notice probably the animation is kind of weird because it it, the toggle is applying a display block and it's growing like it's increasing the width and height of the container what we want is just like a fade reveal so to do that we have to change the jQuery class to use the fade toggle the fade toggle basically does the same thing as the toggle class if the sidebar overlay it's visible is gonna fade out so it's gonna uh, reduce the opacity until it's not visible anymore until it's zero and then it applies a display none if it's not visible it's gonna fade in so applies an opacity from zero to one and then turns the uh, container this specific element into a display block this number is the time so if we want this to be one second long or two seconds we have to specify this in milliseconds i want the animation to be pretty fast so i want my i want to use my usual 320 milliseconds let's save it let's go back in the front end let's refresh again click and that's it you see how the opacity increases with a nice transition and now we have this toggle on top and it's blocking us to click anywhere but if we close it and we remove it of course everything works again now what we have to do we have to block the scrollability of the body to do that we have to create a class for the body itself so let's scroll back all the way to the top where we have our generic declaration body and here let's open and let's say ampersand dot no hyphen scroll let's go with overflow y hidden basically I'm saying to the body that if the body has a class applied to itself called no scroll the overflow y it's hidden the overflow is the CSS attribute that controls the scrollability so we have overflow x that is horizontal and overflow y that is vertical so if we manually as a test we apply the no hyphen scroll class to the body you will see that i'm trying to scroll i, I swear i'm trying to scroll uh, we have the overflow y hidden apply here i'm moving my scroll bar i'm trying to scroll this container but i can't go down and if i select and push it down is not possible if I deactivated the overflow hidden I can scroll again if I activate it again I can't so what we have to do we have to do exactly the same as we're doing in jQuery with this toggle class but in this case is for the body so let's duplicate this code again and let's use as a selector the body and the toggle class is the no hyphen scroll class save it let's go back in our front end let's refresh now let's open the sidebar we have our overlay if we try to scroll is not scrolling because we have this body container and now we can activate the scrollability of this container here we created a specific structure inside the sidebar and that structure is necessary right now for us to properly scroll so we have the sunset sidebar container that if we check the CSS here we have a position relative display block and a height of 100 viewport height so it's the same height as the viewport or your browser window the class that we didn't declare at all is the sidebar scroll and that's what we have to use and that's what we have to edit and style in order to create a scrollable area inside the sidebar so let's copy this class and let's write sidebar scroll position relative display block with 100 percent 
and height 100% because in this case I want the sidebar scroll to be as high as the container it's inside and not the viewport so let's put height 100% it's going to inherit at the same height of the sidebar container and here we can specify overflow x hidden because I don't want to have accidentally a scrollability option or a scrollable bar on a horizontal line but overflow why scroll let's save it let's go back in our front end let's refresh let's open the sidebar and now if we scroll down see the sidebar is scrollable and if you notice here we have the area that it's scrollable starts not from the top of the sidebar because we define this padding top to the sidebar container to have the closing icon always fixed on top and that's why I created the height of 100% if I um, was going to put the height of the sidebar scroll to viewport height and not the 100% I will have a different type of scrollability because the height of the viewport is not the same height of this area that I actually need to scroll so as you can see I have way less area because it's including the code also the padding top but I don't want this padding top I hope it's clear but anyway <laughs> Let's go back to percentage and now we have more area to scroll and it's way easier and way better to maintain So pretty much now everything is working if we close We're gonna have back our scrollability of the body and we can click around all the links work If we click on the sidebar a little bit of opacity mask dark background here the um, Focus is on the sidebar and we cannot scroll the body but we can scroll the sidebar itself. And of course, because we specify with the overflow Y scroll, this container is not gonna be visible, the scrollable sidebar, if we don't have more widgets. So if we manually remove a widget, here I'm trying to scroll, but as you can see, I don't have the necessity to have a scrollable area. So the CSS automatically adapts itself if the content of that specific container is bigger than its height and this is pretty great so it's pretty much it for today's lesson i hope you enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and if you want you can spend a couple of minutes to check the support me page on my website to see all different links and methods to support me support my channel and help me to do better videos and better tutorials for you thank you again guys and until the next lesson as usual happy coding